So, hello and welcome. My name's William Carver. I'm the Senior Partner Manager here at SEC, uh, looking after HP, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Angela Cross. Angela, would you like to just introduce yourself? Hi, um, Angela Cross. I run the server division at HP for the UK and Ireland, and I'm responsible for our converged portfolio too. So, hyperconvergence, which is what we're here to talk about, mm -hmm. is one of those buzzwords which has been flashing around the market for a while now. Would you like to explain what you think it means and what HP believes it means? Yep, absolutely. So hyperconvergence is the next evolution of where technology is going today. Um, traditional technology has been servers, storage and networking, all bought independently and brought together through management tools to operate an environment for a customer. Hyperconvergence allows us to use technology, software technology, to bring those platforms together and enable more seamless integration for a customer. The fundamental difference between convergence and hyperconvergence is that conver converged is still the three architectures using a software layer to bring them together as to operate as one environment. Okay. Hyperconverged is one box using software to enable that unit to operate as a network switch, a storage device, and your compute platform. So it is a server-led proposition. Okay. It goes on a compute infrastructure, but it enables you to do everything in one box. And the background for this in, in terms of HP's evolution over the last, I guess, five years or so, came out of converged infrastructure and converged systems. Where have the specific components for hyperconverged come from? The specific components have come from our software area. Some okay. of the tools we're bringing in there, um, uh, specifically in HP in the form of OneView, mm -hmm. um, which is a management tool which enables you to manage capacity, manage allocation of resources. Um, but it's all based on the compute architecture, so servers. Okay. It, the foundation of hyperconvergence is ProLiant for HP. Okay, so it's using HP standard components as well as the OpenView, sorry, OneView software, to manage that platform and create a single compute box or network box or storage box for a client. Is that fair or is that too simple? Um, slightly wrong. Okay, even better. Um, so the idea is it's one box um, with the software layer in the form of OneView, mm -hmm. and that one box is then your server storage and network in itself. It doesn't okay. do one thing, mm -hmm. it does Just three one. things. Okay. So it's now a multi-talented box. And so if, if, if we were talking to customers, as we often do, looking at the IT problems that they've got, what kind of services would be a good fit for a hyperconverged solution? So we're seeing a wide array of customers looking at this now. Um, definitely organisations with branch or remote requirements, where rather than having to buy and manage three different types of devices, they can have one simple to use, easy to manage infrastructure. Um, but we're also seeing larger organisations as they want to scale out projects um, and move to a more flexible operating environment from an IT landscape, right. looking at converged and hyper-converged as a way to do that. And hyper-converged is resonating really strongly through um, what we would class our small to medium enterprise customer base, but also through public sector as well, who can see the economies, the return on investment benefits of one box, one management system, and one environment. So Angela, thinking about SEC, as I have to do these days, um, we have a lot of very clever and capable technical people who spend a lot of time looking out at the marketplace, mm -hmm. understanding what's the latest and greatest technology in any given field. Why should they come, rather than looking at, say, some of the new entrants out there, back to HP, it's quite a traditional brand name. It's a traditional brand name that has spent its entire life innovating. Okay. Um, if you go back a few years and think about where the term of convergence came from in the IT industry, HP was at the forefront of that. Um, so when we have gone into the area of looking at hyperconverged, we've taken HP's engineering capability, sure. our innovative approach to the world, and our software knowledge and capability and brought those all together. Um, there are some wide array of choices in the hyperconverged market at the moment. Sure. There are a lot of new startups that have come in focused very much on the software angle. But software, if it doesn't 
interoperate seamlessly with the hardware and have a support infrastructure behind it is just a piece of software. When you come back to HP, you know that we've brought together that challenge across the portfolio and looked at it from all of the angles. So you're buying a solution which will actually deliver for you day in, day out, month after month. Sure. Rather than one that at the first software update might create a conflict with the vendor that you've put that software on. We won't have that problem sure. because we will engineer that through our process and engineer that through our update process. So we're giving you peace of mind while still giving you that innovation, that flexibility, and that longevity that we're going to be there to support that product through its life cycle. Okay, so it's access to innovation and controlling of risk, if I can summarise it like that. Absolutely, absolutely. And I mean, obviously HP is not the only company out there doing this sort of thing. No. So from a support point of view, is there a particular benefit to going with an HP solution? Yes, we genuinely believe there is. Firstly, we've invested in a management platform um, in the form of OneView, which operates seamlessly to deliver um, management across the server functionality, the uh, storage functionality and the network functionality on that solution. Um, other vendors have options. There are a number of them out there, Nutanix, um, Nimble, etc. There are There are a myriad of them. They're writing their own software, um, but they are then having to apply it to lots of third-party hardware. Mm. Um, with HP, you will get the fact that we've integrated these together at Engineering Source. Sure. So we have designed them from the ground up to operate together. Plus the fact that when you pick up the phone and call, you don't have to speak to a hardware vendor and the operator sure. for, the, uh, for the software piece. It is HP end-to-end, -end, backed by the fact that our server technology, which this is leading on, is the best in class in the business. So you have that peace of mind that you have an infrastructure layer delivered with a software layer, which you know you can trust HP to deliver on, wrapped up with HP support. Okay, so you get that support benefit, you get end-to-end, -end, you get one throat to choke. Yes. And I guess also speed is a thing for some customers, the ability to buy a single unit Absolutely. and deploy it. So yep. I mean, roughly speaking, if we were going to go out and go and talk to a customer, is it, what are the sort of lead times that we should be talking to them about? Do we? Do we the lead, the lead time for a converge box is um, four to five days longer than the lead time for a standard server. Okay, it so is I can get the whole lot in one hit? Within one month. Perfect. Okay, so if customers are talking about individual projects, if they're talking about mm -hmm. speed of deployment, simplicity yeah. of deployment, those are all the kinds of things that Absolutely. the SEC Salesforce should be looking out for. Definitely. Okay. So, if we had to summarise this with three key strap lines or three key benefits that you take to SEC salespeople, what would they be? I think I'd sum it up under one umbrella statement, simplification. Okay. The product is simple to deploy, one box that does everything you need it to, service storage, networking. It is simple to manage because of one view. Mm -hmm. um, and it is simple to support because with the strength of SEC and HP, we can provide remote support, local support, whatever is required to that customer, utilising one view, or utilising the strength of the engineering network and the support network that SEC and HP have together. And with SEC sitting as a service provider around this, we would hope that we could see this as the basis for uh, particular managed services where we're looking at branch offices, for example, where we're looking at people like retailers and financial services, as well as local government, as well as some of our smaller clients. And certainly in new business, we see it as a, a potential way of breaking the ice um, with, with new customers. So if we want to go and find out a bit more information as SCC coming into HP, who do we go and talk to if we want to go and get a technical expert in front of a customer? Okay, so um, in HP, and many of you will have heard of the legend that is Jerry Walsh. Okay. Um, Jerry works in our pre-sales division. He's been with HP um, far too long for me to date him with. Um, and he is our, from a pre-sales perspective, he is our guru on all of our converged family, okay. including hyper-converged. All of the pre-sales team are fully conversant with it. We also have the server specialist community. Mm -hmm. um, and again, a number of you will be familiar with the guys that operate in that, looking after the end user clients from a server specialist point of view. Again, all very conversant in the product. And from a business unit perspective, 
Tim Jeffcoat okay. in the BU. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll put up alongside this video uh, the contacts for those guys Perfect. so that those people can get hold of them. Obviously, folks in SCC who want to get hold of somebody in the partner management team, that's myself, or Jonathan Charles in HP. Thank you very much, Angela. Thank you.